Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a very simple method uh, to create some amazing green sc screen quality effects for your game. Um, now this method does not require you to have any artistic knowledge or ability or talent at all. Um, this method uh, just uses some programs and we're going to convert uh, green screen effects into sprites for your game. Um, so this isn't this isn't uh, specifically for Game Maker Studio, but uh, but this is a Game Maker Studio channel. Um, but it, it doesn't matter what program you're uh, what engine you're using. Um, you, this method can be used for any type of game. So um, this is for everybody, really. Um, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, how to get this done. Um, so the, so the, you'll need a couple programs. The first program you're going to need is uh, you're going to need either Photoshop or GIMP. If you don't have Photoshop, uh, you can go in Google and type in GIMP and download the latest version of GIMP. Um, easy enough. The next one you're going to need is uh, I Scott Skysoft Video Converter Ultimate. Um, and that is here. I'm going to put the links for these in the description. You can just press the free download, download these, install them, um, and we'll be using these programs to convert the the videos to JPEGs. Um, the other program we need is going to be in your browser, and it's flvto.biz, um, and it has some ads here. You can just ignore that creepy stuff, but. Uh, um, you're going to want to check that box and then we're going to paste the link in here and then we're going to convert we're going to get the videos from YouTube um, so if I go to YouTube and I just type in uh, green free. so you want to make sure the, the effects you download are free um, so you're not infringing on any copyrights um, so once you find one, um, like this one says, uh, special for, for commercial use. Yeah, so these are really great effects. Uh, as you can see, you can pretty much get anything you want. Uh, let's do some blood. Okay, so you see you can get uh, some nice blood effects, uh, explosions, you know, anything you need. Um, you know, just, uh, I'll let you uh, search that, but, but you can see all these really nice effects for, for free. You know, a lot of this stuff is free to use, um, so why not use it? Some of this stuff, it doesn't look like it's going to work. So you need to find one with... Uh, a really solid green background like this. So a lot of these see the solid green background. That's what we're going to need. Um, oops. All right. So that's enough of that. Um, once you get your link, copy your link, put it in there. You hit convert to, and then you can download. Um, once you download your video, um, I'll go over what to do next. All right, so for the next step, uh, let me drag a video I've already got over here. I'm going to open up the Skysoft Video Converter. And I'm going to add files. And I'm going to click play on the video. Actually, move that. I'm going to hit play on the video. And then I'm going to come down here to the right where it says settings. I'm going to click settings. I'm going to change the format to JPEG. And I'm going to select my location. Uh, let's see where my I'm lost. There. All right. 
Then I come here, I can hit play, I can click that. So you just going through them, taking some snapshots until you're uh, satisfied with what you got. Um, now you probably don't need this many. Um, you could take out a few here and there. Um, you know how much ever you need. But uh, so one by one, this is this is where it gets a little bit tedious. Um, not too bad. But uh, you know, if you want these amazing effects, I just go ahead and close this out. Um, you have to do a little bit of work, you know. Um, but uh, still very simple to do this. So I'm going to show you. Go ahead and show you with Photoshop, and then I'll show you with GIMP. All right. So if you don't know this in Photoshop. Basically, um, I'm going to come up here to select color range. I'm going to select greens. Let me unlock that. And then I'm going to hit delete. Now you see I hit delete once. And it didn't delete it all the way. But I'm just going to delete as much as I can. And I delete the backgrounds. There we go. Backgrounds deleted. And then I can export this, um, excuse me, I can uh, save as, save this as PNG with transparent background. And there we go, there's one image for the sprite. So I do that with all of these images and I will have enough to create a sprite sheet of a blood effect. Um, now with now I'm going to go ahead and show you with GIMP. So with GIMP, we're just going to do the same thing. I'm going to take an image, drop it in, and I'm going to come up here to select by color, select green, and just click on there. All right, so it says select by green, and then I hit delete. Now you see it left the white background, so I need to come over to a layer and add alpha channel. I hit delete again. There we go. It deletes it. And you see it had this uh, little bit down here at the bottom. Um, you can you can delete that. Um, and then you go ahead and go file, um, export as desktop. I'm going to change this to a PNG. That's probably going to overwrite. Yep, it's going to replace. Uh, export. And there we go. Same thing. Now you see there's some green left here. So um, you can play around with the colors um, in Photoshop and do some overlaying and stuff and uh, fix that up. Uh, but it probably won't be too, too crazy. Um, it, it probably won't mess up your effects too bad. It still looks still, still going to look great. Um, that's with GIMP. Uh, Photoshop does it. See, it has a little bit nicer effect. So, um, the difference was between the two. Um, Photoshop, of course, um, gives you a better result. But you can play around with GIMP and fix that up. I'm sure, even without any artistic ability, uh, you could pretty much uh, figure that out. So, once you get all of your images uh, exported, um, you know, and and for you people using Game Maker Studio. Um, you can just trim the trim the layers, uh, trim it down so it's so you can cut off all the extra fat. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. That's how you can create some pretty amazing uh, green screen effects. Uh, um, so yeah, if you like this video, if you want to see more content and tricks and hacks like this, uh, please leave me a comment, give me a like, thumbs up. Uh, Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and um, I appreciate the support. You have a good night.